Hi guys, let's go ahead and find the voltage across C3, where delta V, or the potential difference between points A and B, equals 10 volts. And notice this is C3 right here. But before we begin, let's go over some basic rules. For capacitors in series, or actually for capacitors in parallel, in order to find the equivalent capacitance, we can add each, nor each capacitor normally, so C1 plus C2 plus C3. And for capacitors in parallel, they have the same voltage V across each capacitor. Now for capacitors in series, they're a little different. In order to find the equivalent capacitance, we add each, nor each capacitor component inversely. And for capacitors in series, they have the same charge Q through each capacitor. If you're not familiar with the equivalent capacitance, please feel free to check out my earlier video as I go through this subject in a lot more detail. And now let's move on to these three equations right here. The first one is C equals Q over V, which means capacitance equals charge over voltage. And we can go ahead and solve for Q by multiplying both sides by V right here. And Q equals C times V. So charge equals capacitance times voltage. Now let's take this equation and divide both sides by C. And we can solve for V, which is right here. V equals Q over C which is voltage equals charge over capacitance. Notice if we have two out of the three variables, notice that we, if we have two out of the three variables for these equations, we can go ahead and solve for the third one using simple algebra. Now let's go ahead and solve this problem. So, but first let's focus on the circuit and notice that it's, each capacitor has been given numerical values, as you can see here. And C3 is now this 4 microfarad capacitor. So we're actually solving for the voltage across this 4 microfarad capacitor right here. And notice that there are rules for parallel capacitors and rules for series capacitors in the bottom left and right hand corners. You can go ahead and reference these as I go through this video. First thing to do would be to find the equivalent capacitance of this whole circuit. I'll go ahead and do that, and the first thing I'll do is add this 2 microfarad capacitor with this 1 microfarad capacitor, since they're in parallel. 2 plus 1 equals 3, and the equivalent capacitor of this network right here is a 3 microfarad capacitor shown right here. This 3 microfarad capacitor is in series with this 4 microfarad capacitor, and since they're in series, they can go ahead and add inversely. 1 over 3 plus 1 over 4 equals 7 over 12. Go ahead and take the inverse of this answer. And the equivalent capacitance of this top branch equals 1.71 microfarads. So we can go ahead and replace this whole top branch with a 1.71 microfarad capacitor right there. This will, let's go on to the bottom now. The bottom contains a 2 microfarad capacitor in series with a 3 microfarad capacitor. Since they're in series, they can go ahead and add inversely. So 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 equals 5 over 6. Take the inverse of this answer, and the equivalent capacitance of this bottom branch equals 1.2 microfarads. We can go ahead and replace that right there. Now we're left with two capacitors in parallel. That means they can go ahead and add. And 1.71 plus 1.2 equals 2.91 microfarads. 2.91 microfarads is the equivalent capacitance of this whole circuit. And since we saw for this whole circuit, now we can go ahead and work backwards to solve for the voltage across the 4 microfarad capacitor. And the first thing we'll do now, or the next thing we'll do now, is go ahead and expand this 2.91 microfarad capacitor to what it was before. So before this equivalent capacitor was 2.91 microfarads, it was a parallel network well this 1.71 microfarad capacitor and this 1.20 microfarad capacitor since this is in parallel the 1.71 microfarad capacitor has the same voltage as this 1.2 microfarad capacitor and since this is the equivalent capacitance of this network this also has the same voltage as these two capacitors in the bottom and if we apply a voltage of 10 volts between points A and B, the 2.91 microfarad capacitor will have the same voltage as the 1.71 microfarad capacitor and 
the 1.2 microfarad capacitor, which is all going to be 3 volts. Oh, I'm sorry, which is all going to be 10 volts. So, since we're solving for the 4 microfarad capacitor and it was in the top branch, let's go ahead and work with the top branch. This 1.71 microfarad capacitor is the equivalent capacitance of this whole top branch. And since we have C, or the capacitance of this whole network, and we have V, we can go ahead and solve for Q, as you can see here. So Q equals C times V, and we can go ahead and solve the math right here in the bottom. Q equals C times V, which is 1.71 times 10 to the negative 6 farads times 10 volts equals 1.71 times 10 to the negative 5 coulombs. So this is the charge on this 1.71 microfarad capacitor right here. And notice it's 1.71 times 10 to the negative 6 farads. That's because I converted from microfarads to farads. So keep that in mind. That can get tricky sometimes. So now we saw for the charge on this 1.71 microfarad capacitor. This 1.71 microfarad capacitor has a voltage of 10 volts, which is the same voltage between A and B, which is the same as this capacitor. It has a charge of 1.71 times 10 to the negative 5 coulombs. And it has a capacitance of 1.71 times 10 to the negative 6 farads, or 1.71 microfarads. Now, next thing to do is to go ahead and expand this 1.71 microfarad equivalent capacitor. So we'll expand it to what it was before, which was this 3 microfarad capacitor and this 4 microfarad capacitor. And remember, this is what we're solving for. The voltage across this 4 microfarad capacitor. So let's backtrack real quick to this previous slide. And the charge on this capacitor, the charge on this capacitor is 1.71 times 10 to the negative 5 coulombs. Now let's go forward. And this 3 microfarad capacitor is in series with this 4 microfarad capacitor. And the 1.71 microfarad capacitor shown earlier, or shown, shown previously, is the equivalent capacitor of these two capacitors. So that means the charge on this should be the same as this, which is the same on here. So let's move forward again. And remember these are in series, and if you remember the rules that we went over earlier, the series has the same charge. So the charge on these two capacitors is right here. 1.71 is the equivalent capacitor of the 3 microfarad capacitor and the 4 microfarad capacitor. And the charge of the equivalent capacitor, which was 1.71, equals the charge on the 3 microfarad capacitor, which is right here equals the charge on the 4 microfarad capacitor, which is right here, which is 1.71 times 10 to the negative 5 coulombs. And we have C and we have Q for this 4 microfarad capacitor. We can go ahead and solve for V now, which is what we're looking for. We're looking for the voltage across this 4 microfarad capacitor. So we'll go ahead and solve for V. Remember V equals Q over C. And we can do the math right here in the bottom. V equals Q over C equals 1.71 times 10 to the negative 5 coulombs over 4 times 10 to the minus 6 farads, which equals 4.28 volts. And there you go. We've solved for the voltage across the 4 microfarad capacitor, or C3. It has a voltage of 4.29 volts. There you go.